<laughs> so, your, your attention, please. This will be just uh, three slides presentation, so short and uh, painless. <laughs> if you could make bad English. <laughs> so, uh, back uh, two years ago, uh, Jim uh, uh, sent me a device of the type uh, that we already saw previously, uh, based on the uh, PCT stack. Okay, so. Uh, and uh, with the idea to test it uh, on uh, a trust balance, uh, which is basically uh, of the same sort that uh, Jim also has and uh, uh, George also has similar, I mean, and Martinez. Okay, so it's uh, based on uh, uh, the, there is an optical sensor which is uh, measuring this, the displacement of the arm. Uh, this is uh, basically rotating okay, like that. You have uh, here in the center. Uh, a, a series of contact uh, based on this Galinstein concept, uh, which was let's say invented by, by Jim. Uh, so it's in, on the pivot. So if you have a rotation, there is no problem with uh, uh, interfering forces. And uh, so the device uh, uh, here it's shown uh, with the uh, so open uh, Faraday cage, uh, and there it's shown mounted on the on the balance. Uh, so this uh, is the direction, the direction the thrust is going, so like that, okay, to push, push, tear, so like that, okay, <coughs> like that or like that, and um, uh, we did this, uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, at, at the Fotec, uh, which is uh, the company uh, which I, I work uh, for, uh, there we usually we are uh, uh, measuring, uh, uh, we, we are measuring the thrust of ion thrusters, okay. And this can measure thrust uh, down to the uh, sub micro newton levels. Okay. And uh, what I saw, what I recorded, uh, is uh, what you see on the right side. Okay. And uh, on the left side, uh, you see uh, what uh, Jim was getting. So, uh, what uh, you can see here, I mean, the first thing that can. Uh, 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 that, that is evident uh, is the shape of the of the of the curve you see so we have uh, these bumps here which is uh, let's say the uh, pre-peak uh, which is uh, uh, happening when you switch on and off the device and then we have also stable uh, thrust okay the, the I mean the, the only thing the only problem is that the magnitude of the thrust is different okay and uh, it's not yet clear if this is uh, uh, due to a uh, calibration uh, problem, please. Let me just interject. There's a factor of two difference because in the case of our result, it's a forward minus reverse. Okay. And I assume that that's a single. This is a single. Yeah. Okay. So, so it would be it would be it's zero point three micro magnitude. But still, I mean, we are uh, an order magnitude lower. Okay. But uh, nevertheless, uh, it's not important, uh, I, I don't think it's important the level of thrust, also because this is the same level that uh, uh, Martin and uh, uh, George were obtaining. Okay. What is important uh, are this, uh, are this, uh, is this shape, okay? these peaks uh, which are present on uh, all three uh, replications. Okay. This indicates that uh, it's uh, not a facility effect, that this is not an interaction of the device uh, with the surrounding but it is something which is coming from the device itself, okay? Um, is there any significance between, um, on Jim's, the red trace kind of goes down below the zero line, and uh, you, you know, at, 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 during that? Yeah, you know, there is always some drift on, on, on the base okay. uh, trace. Yeah, because you don't have it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, actually, in my case, it's going up a little bit, you see? Okay, so that going up uh, is not represented. Yes, actually, okay, here it's going the same. <laughs> yeah. um, another very important thing is that when uh, I reverse the device uh, uh, direction, okay, if it goes on, yeah, uh, the thrust reverses as well. So this is also an indication that uh, it's uh, uh, it's an effect which is produced in the device itself. See, so in this case, I had. Uh, three pulses in sequence. So it's not just a single thing. So you see how it's happening. So we, we see that we have a drift like that, okay, of the, of the balance. This is normal, but you see here, so the, the gray uh, area is when the device is switched on and the rest is off, 
then on again, then off. And you see, as soon as it is switched on, you have this peak on the reverse direction, and then it comes here, stable thrust. You switch it off, so reverse direction, then back to zero, and so on, okay? And the, the fact that, uh, yeah, you have the, the thrust uh, uh, which reverses with the, with the reverse of the device uh, tells you that uh, it's, again, not an effect of an interaction of the device. I mean, I, won't, I mean, most probably it's not due to a, an effect of the interaction of the device with the chamber, with the environment, okay? That's all. Actually, yeah. <laughs> Uh, these uh, three slides were taken uh, from uh, uh, a presentation uh, I had uh, a, in a small scientific workshop that I do within uh, uh, a science fiction uh, conference in Italy, which was called Le, uh, La Lunga Strada per la Warp Drive, that means the long road to the warp drive. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Question? Hmm? That's, that's your picture. That's, yeah. <laughs> Some one of you <laughs> can recognize this is the uh, cover of James. Which is, uh, which is, uh, that's available on YouTube. <laughs> Who's up? <laughs> Any question? <laughs> okay, no question. I'd like to make one comment. Yeah, please. When dealing with gallons, then, or any liquid metal contact, uh, one should keep aware, be aware of ampere forces. Remember ampere forces? That uh, in a high, in, at least in high current uh, applications of uh, currents flowing through liquid metal conductors, you will have forces, usually circulating forces, circular forces, which actually can exert a little bit of a torque. On a, uh, on let's say a pin that's in a pot of, of uh, liquid metal. And if you're offset, if you're off center, if your center pivot part is off center, uh, those forces can be magnified. And also, if you are bringing the current in to the pot of gallons, then from one point, and you're taking the current out from the center, sometimes there are additional forces. They're really small, but uh, the people who are using gallons, then, including me, uh, should be aware that at high currents, um, and I can't tell you, so you mean the calculations. So you mean the order of um, amperes, right? Of amps. maybe tens of amps right. in, in size. In this case, right. In, in this well, case, yeah, it was less than Sure, but just, yeah, I, mean, sure. I think it's yeah, that is connected, right? And there's a man who's going to have a question. The way to check for is reverse the direction. You're true. Because nothing happens to the... Exactly. Yeah. 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 So, I would like to share some experience here too, <laughs> because something else that I measured with the Skellington contacts was that uh, you have Coulomb propulsion too. So you have the Galveston contact, you have the pin in there, and... Um, if you have something like 100 volts, which is on the order of magnitude what we have here, right? Uh, you can measure micronewton forces of this pin being pushed out of the gallon stand. Yeah. So if you're not again here in the perfect center, that adds to that. But yeah, again, was an error source that I was right. looking for a long time. But again, this <coughs> will not reverse if you reverse. If you reverse oh, the, sure, right. yeah, yeah. And it's independent, of course, of polarity. Right. But this is something that, if you do weight measurements, which I'm doing too, that can kill you with <laughs> this scanning context. Okay.